Miranda Lambert sure knows how to embrace the good life. The country sensation previously lived in a lavish estate in an upscale area of Nashville, a dwelling she said goodbye to in 2020. Lambert shared images of her opulent Nashville mansion on social media during the pandemic a few years back. Alongside her husband, former NYPD officer Brendan McLaughlin, Miranda spent her days in this stunning five-bedroom, 5.5 bathroom, 5,800 square foot residence situated in the Forest Hill section of Nashville. Rand is currently said to live on a remarkable 400-acre farm, valued at an impressive $3.4 million, and it encompasses three houses, four stables, a boathouse, and a private lake. However, it was also said that Miranda was wanting a more modest lifestyle, and the couple was said to be constructing a new home together. She said, I've relocated and I'm conjuring up a new magical porch. We're in the process of building a house, so for now we're living in a cozy cabin at the back of the property. Miranda shared this a while back, so what is Miranda Lambert's home life like? Well, we're about to show you. Miranda Lee Lambert, born on November 10th, 1983 in Longview, Texas, found her roots in the world of country music from an early age. Raised in a family that appreciated and celebrated the genre, Lambert's early childhood laid the foundation for her future as a country music icon. Her parents, Richard Lee Lambert and Beverly June Hughes Lambert, recognized and nurtured her talent, building an environment where her love for music could flourish. Family's always been a cornerstone of Miranda Lambert's life. She shares a close bond with her parents and brother Luke Lambert. The Lambert family's shared love for music not only strengthened their connections, but also set the stage for Miranda's remarkable journey into the country music scene. Miranda's love life, well, it's been a subject of public attention. Her high profile marriage to fellow country star Blake Shelton in 2011 captivated fans and the couple, known for their on-stage chemistry and collabs, became a powerhouse duo in the country music scene. As you may know though, their marriage faced challenges. This led to a divorce in 2015. Despite the public drama, Lambert's journey in love continued. In 2019, Miranda Lambert surprised fans by announcing her marriage to Brendan McLaughlin, a former New York City police officer. The couple's relationship added a new chapter to Miranda's love story, and their shared life became a blend of country charm and urban resilience. Miranda's appreciation for the Southern way of life is reflected in her properties, including a luxurious 400-acre farm in Tennessee. Lambert and McLaughlin are not just building a new house, they're creating a haven where their shared dreams and love for the simple pleasures of life can thrive. Miranda Lambert is no stranger to the finer things in life. The renowned country star once called the luxurious estate in High Dollar Enclave in Music City, Nashville, her home, until its sale in 2020. For those who tracked Miranda's life on social media during the pandemic, glimpses of her opulent five-bedroom, 5.5 bathroom house in Nashville's Forest Hill neighborhood might ring familiar. The sale of this lavish Nashville mansion fetched Lambert over $2.5 million, a big increase from the $1.75 million she originally paid for it in 2015. However, it did fall slightly short of her asking price at $2.9 million. Nestled behind gates, this private residence boasts the perfect blend of seclusion and prime location. Marketed for its warmth and style and incredible views, the mansion features a spacious living room with a raised ceiling and stone fireplace. Multiple porches offer vantage points to soak in breathtaking surroundings. The master suite, complete with his and hers bathrooms, has its own attached porch, while every other bedroom in this luxury abode is a suite with its private bathroom. The exterior shows meticulous landscaping and a series of impressive brick retaining walls. This residence was full of white and modern interiors that exuded elegance and charm and spanned 5,800 square feet of space throughout. The heart of this remarkable home was its large attached living space, boasting a double height ceiling that created an eerie and expansive atmosphere. A grand fireplace served as a focal point, giving warmth and a touch of classic charm. The space seamlessly connected to the outdoors through French doors, offering a perfect blend of indoor and outdoor living. Attached to the living area was a gourmet kitchen that could easily be described as a chef's dream. The kitchen featured two islands, 
one of which was designed for casual dining with convenient bar seating. The other island served as a functional workspace, perfect for meal prep, while a light-filled breakfast nook provided a cozy spot for enjoying morning meals. One distinctive feature of Miranda's former Nashville abode was a strikingly designed black painted study library. This room not only showcased her unique taste, but also featured an iconic Elvis head statue, adding a touch of music history to the modern setting. Upon entering the residence, guests were welcomed by an impressive double height foyer adorned with a Juliet balcony that added a touch of old world romance. The bedrooms in Lambert's former home were nothing short of spacious and stunning, providing an inviting retreat at the end of the day. To complement the southern charm of the property, a stunning wraparound porch graced the exterior. This outdoor space offered panoramic views of the surroundings and provided an ideal spot for enjoying the tranquility of the Forest Hills neighborhood. In 2016, Miranda Lambert invested $3.4 million in her expansive rural estate, situated an hour south of Nashville. Encompassing 400 acres of farmland, the property boasts picturesque rolling hills, charming rustic living spaces, and a large horse barn. It includes three residences, a serene lake complemented by a boathouse, and an extensive six-bay garage. The estate features 75 acres of fenced-in pasture land and illuminated walking trails spread out through the woods, leading to a pavilion. This pavilion, with seating for 60, serves as a venue for intimate private concerts within nature. Back in 2022, Miranda shared an Instagram post with a photo of her laying across what seemed to be her driveway in front of the extensive land with her dogs. She captioned the post, Happy Saturday, y'all. It's National Adopt-A-Shelter Pet Day. Here are some of my favorite moments with my rescue herd. Adopt, don't shop. As an avid animal lover, Miranda has also shared sweet photos with her husband and their horses. Captioning one, y'all welcome cowboy to the farmily, our newest addition just in time for Father's Day. One of my friend, Eric, said a friend of his had a horse that needed to be rehomed. That is never a no, it's a hell yeah. Well, Miranda's property is even bigger than it looks. The main house boasts three bedrooms, complemented by two additional cabins. Adding to the charm, there's a two-stall horse barn and a six-car garage featuring an extra apartment on top. It's a haven for the couple and their four-legged friends and a place where love for animals and the beauty of Tennessee's landscape come together. Inside, her luxury cabin estate is just as impressive, full of warmth and character, featuring a ton of rustic wood elements that create a cozy and inviting atmosphere. The living room or great room is a focal point of the cabin, boasting double height ceilings and a soaring brick fireplace that stands as a commanding centerpiece. The space is adorned with wood paneled walls and ceilings, embracing a timeless aesthetic that connects seamlessly with the natural surroundings. This blend of rustic textures and finishes creates a harmonious balance, making the living rooms and kitchens both cozy and spacious. The wood accents bring the outdoors inside. In the living areas, plush furnishings invite relaxation, creating spaces that are as welcoming as they are stylish. The kitchens echo the rustic theme with wooden cabinets and details that contribute to the overall cozy feel. Within those 400 acres is a nice little lake for all her pets to play in, which comes with its own deck and canoe storage. About 75 acres on Miranda's property are fenced in to act as a pasture land for all of the couple's farm animals. When it comes to the two rustic cabins on the property, the larger one has its own front porch, a living room with high ceilings, a small kitchen, and one bedroom with an ensuite bath featuring double sinks. The smaller cabin boasts an open plan living room and bedroom with fireplace, kitchenettes, and a bathroom with a clawfoot tub. There's also a caretaker's apartment located above the garage. Miranda's home is located near Prim Springs, about an hour's drive south of Nashville, and it holds a special significance to the couple because they got married right here in 2019. Miranda said, I was married before and it was a huge wedding and everything was very public, so was my divorce. I learned then that it's not for everybody else. This is my actual life. With Brandon, I made it a point to keep it as private as I could for as long as I could. 
Miranda also revealed in the past that she and Brendan were building a brand new property from the ground up. But when looking at photos, it appears to be the same Tennessee property, perhaps just with interior renovations. Well, that wraps up our look into the homes and life of Miranda Lambert. We got to see how she cherishes her rural living and tons of animals and pets. Before we go, answer this question for me. Do you think Miranda has remained in her original 400 acre property or do you think it's a completely different home? Let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on those notifications so you never miss a video. I'm Kara, follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all next time. Bye. Hey everyone, it's Kara or Kara the Vampire Slayer as you might know me and given my love for all things house and home, I recently wanted to get more hands on myself and I started tackling DIY projects at my own house. Being a new homeowner, there are plenty of unexpected things to fix and it's cool to learn what you're doing and hopefully be able to fix it yourself. There are also plenty of DIY projects suitable for beginners like me to do and ones that improve the look of your space drastically. Follow me and I'll teach you what I'm learning and motivate you to join me. You can DIY on a budget even if you're a total beginner. Follow me on Fix It With Kara and we can chat.